match here. Very big game. Winner is guaranteed top three and one match away from coming to the land finals. Yeah, and Monkey, Bus uh, Monkey Business was waiting for Empire to finish their D2CR game. So, so they've the been able to sit back, you know, relax. So the game started late. Study them a bit. <laughs> yeah, and in, in the few games I saw Lich being really successful, so Monkey Business decides that no Lich for no fear. It's one of their uh, heroes that they always go to pair with Resolution on the offlane, Beastmaster, or any offlaners that they just want to secure the early game for him. So based on recent results, Monkey Business has looked quite a bit stronger. They had a good showing at MLG. Uh, do you think they're heavy favorites versus Empire? Or do you view this as more of like a 50-50 type matchup? I think Monkey Business is definitely favorites, but it's not by any means a huge margin of a favorite. It's like they have a slight edge, I think. Okay, like 55, 45, or 60, 40. 60, 40, yeah. All right, well, let's see if that's the case, guys. Game one's underway. It's a best of three. Summit for Europe continues now. So, as you mentioned, Winter, very interesting Lich ban, but it makes a lot of sense when you look at the past series. And other than that, uh, Darkseer, probably the most unusual hero not to get banned first phase. The other hero that's been ignored is, of course, Mr. Ember Ten Spirit. <laughs> and he's going to slip through. Yeah, for Empire, it's no surprise, though, because they actually don't pick the hero that much, and they always like to go for that Slala, TA, Slala, SF, or the minus armor with the, iron, with the Darkseer Iron yeah. Shell on Slala. TA feels like a great pick here. Yep, it's banned, that's why. Monkey yeah. Business felt the same. They didn't want to give Empire too much minus armor on the Dire side. Whereas Monkey Business is going to be focusing a lot of efforts in stacking since they have the Radiant Shadow Fiend. Stacking and making sure they keep the Shadow Fiend safe. So they removed T and Queen of Pain heroes that might be threatening to the SF in the lane as well. Do you know, is No Fear taken over as like the captain for the team instead of Yoku? Or is uh, he just doing the drafting? He, she's always drafting though since he joined. Yeah, so. I'm curious if like, because now Yoku's the mid. And I know some players have said that it's a bit harder to call than see the game when you are when you have to focus on your laning mechanics as much. Yeah, I, I think captains are usually, usually the support players because they are watching the whole game. And you are actually not needed to focus on your hero that much. I'm not saying that you don't need to focus on your hero Is because sometimes you do like mm -hmm. when you're playing Rubik. Yeah. But you have less focus on your, less strain basically on your own hero. So you can actually look at, at the game as, as a big picture so you can make the make the call. You can play an optimal support without having to like max out yeah. your, your brain power basically. It's distracting because it's very difficult to play like, for example, if you're playing a hero like Meepo and captaining a team, good luck with that. <laughs> Yeah, I, I would love to see that. I, I guess uh, No Tail sort of the the captain for his team. And nah, I think Fly is the captain. He's okay. more of the captain. Yeah, that's true. Because he's No Tail's the one that yells. You, you know, you know why he's the. <laughs> he's the face of the team, I guess you could say. He's the face of the yeah. team, but the captain is the calm and collective guy. Mm -hmm. And Fly is very calm, I must tell you. I admin one of their games at the summit, too. I think it was, and you know they'd have a huge team fight. Like he'd just be. It kind of reminded me of S four. He's just very chill. Meanwhile, you've got no tail to screaming his head off. So, all right, draft continues now. Empire go for the Bane. Definitely one of the teams that prefer this hero. Yep. Great lockdown to interrupt the Requiem. Good setup for the Slardar Crush. A pretty straightforward pick, really. And, well, the question for Monkey Business is what do they want? They you already have their Shadow You team. say it's straightforward, but most of the teams will actually go for Wyvern here with the yeah. Dark Sailor plus Slardar. And you have the same BKB lockdown against the SF. So... I mean, for the CIS teams, probably Bane would be something that they consider a lot. But we saw in certain games that Bane is actually a weak hero versus, for example, a Meepo like Monkey Business would run because you are single target focus. And mm -hmm. when you're up against Meepo, like, it's another single target focus. Wind Ranger is a, it's the combo. Wind Ranger Slala. It's also important to mention Empire was pretty late because they were finishing up their D2 CL match. So they have no reserve time, which mm. is part of why we're seeing very quick picks from them. doesn't really matter, though. Uh, they seem to already understand what they want from the start. They've been picking a very straightforward combination. Iron Shell on Slada. Then you want to utilize the M damage with the Wind Ranger. Then they pick the Bane for a BKB lockdown versus Shadow Fiend. So everything seems very logical and uh, understandable. For a Monkey Business, we'll see whether they want to go for... Oh, I guess no more Meepo. Unless they want to run Brew on Moon Meander, which... Have you ever seen him play Mo uh, the Brew? Or uh. is this exclusively for No Tail because it's a micro hero? I'm not sure. I'm guessing Moon can play Brew. He plays a lot of those like tempo controller yeah. team fight specialists. I feel like uh, if they wanted to pick a Meepo against all this uh, single Five target focus, I guess Slada is not exactly Slada and Iron Shell uh, and Darkseer Vacuum Iron Shell is not exactly single target focus. But do you, do you think Meepo is actually a good pick here? 
Mm, if they want Meepo, I guess they'll ban the Y1. So we'll see. Because Slaughter Wind Ranger, that's a lot of just burst damage and lockdown yeah, but, against but the Meepos. They have the Dazzle, right? So if they're focusing one Meepo, Dazzle can save that Meepo, and the rest of the Meepo will just wreck everyone. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. Probably well, not. definitely this team likes their Meepo. So oh, probably not Meepo because they ban Undying. If they wanted Meepo, they would have more likely. But I guess it's their last pick, right? So they don't have to worry. So if they really wanted uh, to pick the Y1, then Monkey Business wouldn't pick the Meepo. Hmm. Yeah, they're definitely they're definitely not going for that first pick Monkey anti mage we saw back in the the qualifiers. Huh. Either. They want to ruin the SF in the early game because he it's radiant SF. You want to be able to run into the jungle. Wait, why are they actually going for BH instead of Night Stalker? Usually they would go for NS. Is there something that they want from BH this game that uh, NS doesn't provide? They're <laughs> I guess more move speed? <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> they're already so fast though. I guess so. I guess they just want to be able to track and yeah, you get the extra Ten goal for your team. Remaining. But generally nowadays we see teams go for Night Stalker instead of BH. Yeah. They fulfill the same role. And the silence would be really good against like a brewmaster dazzle, mm. so it is kind of odd to see them pass it up. Reserve but time. like you said, probably about the track gold. It's all about the greed nowadays. Well, I guess Ten bounty hunter is not that greedy, remain. but <laughs> yeah, it, it can be because monkey business look like a five man lineup potentially. I speak for the trees. And now the profit yeah, for so moon, so it is going to be the big it. daddy brew. Yeah, it's going to be no tail on brew, the micro hero. And oh, he's back to no tail. Okay. <laughs> I prefer that name, but why? No tail is much easier. I know. I prefer no tail. That's what I'm saying. Oh, I thought you. You're, you're just like ready to argue with me. You don't uh, even know what you're arguing about. You're just like I, starting I by arguing. And then you're like, oh, let me wait. Let me make sure I have a good reason to continue yeah, arguing I, here. I, I oh, I don't. Okay, I'll find a new point soon. I, I don't even think I argue as much with my princess than with you. <laughs> oh my goodness! All right, we're underway, guys. Game one of a best of three: Empire versus Monkey Business. Resolution heading right down to the off lane is the Dark Seer for Empire. Yoku will be your Wind Ranger mid. Aloha Dance playing that roaming bounty hunter. He is equipped with an Orb of Venom and double sentries. No fear will be the selfless support Bane and Silent on the Slardar. As for your Radiant Squad Moon, he's made some big plays on the Prophet in recent weeks and he'll be looking to do so again. Miracle, the Shadow Fiend, Crit, the Jakiro, Fly going to be captaining the team and handling the Dazzle. And that does leave No Tail on the safe lane with a. Nice, delicious I got mango. It. I got it. I know, I know why the VH. Why? I know. I forgot about the island shell and the VH. Ah, yeah, yeah. That's a good point. They can actually wreck like, a support like Dazzle with that. So maybe that's the reason why. Mm. I mean, you can do it with NS as well, but you don't, you're not in bits and you kind of want to force it. Might be a little tough, though. They have two extra sentries on fly. And I think... And there's one on crit. So there's three sentries still, but we'll see how many get spent mid. Huh. I wonder how are they going to lane this though? Because it's a BH roaming, right? You can potentially put pressure on the profit, uh, on the safe lane with the profit plus one. And Brewmaster is self-sufficient, so you don't really need a nanny to take care of him so much. So we'll see. Maybe the Jakiro would just pull bottom, Dazzle would help top. Not sure how they're going to run this though, we'll see. I definitely think that they can pressure the Slada's lane a lot if they have the right heroes on top. Oh, mid lane. This oh, guy is sad. Heavy harass on Miracle. Good job there. Getting the auto attack off while fading. Oh. So. Miracle they don't have walking a right back in. He does have a support nearby. Heal comes out off the bat. Courier getting. <laughs> Courier even won a piece of the action. Oh, okay. That's, that's, the that's, reason a why, that's the reason why the support wasn't in the lane. He was sparing the south for the SF because they were worried the bounty would be sniping the Courier. Right, good job by Empire punishing that, though. That's a lot of early harass. And Jakiro is not going to be able to find the ward. This is really bad for him because they want to play the Jakiro as much as a greedy support. You want to just grab levels, pull, 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 pull until you get level 7. You have 4 liquid fire. And you want to be able to use that with the Prophet to take towers. Well, Miracle even went for the passive early here, but he is getting punished in the CS department. We generally see Shadow Feeds nowadays more get the raise early on if they're trying to rush their bottle, but yeah, but he, went he goes for, for the stats. He went for the Wraith Van, so when you go for Wraith Van, you go, you go for the Necromaster. Yeah, not getting much done. Two CS through the first wave. Yoku with seven and three already. Yeah, but that was like thanks to the bounty because how the early game panned out, they didn't have the sentry mid at the start because the support was like ferrying the south for Miracle. So he was actually under a lot of pressure in the first wave. That's the reason why he didn't get any CS in the first wave. 
Yeah. Definitely the power of these early pressure heroes. They're going to drop another sentry over oh. near the lane. This is really bad for bottom though because they can't devour this. Because Jakiro, in this sort of situation, Jakiro doesn't offer much. And you can't, you kind of have to just set experience from the Brewmaster, which is a hero that needs the level 6 ASAP. So I think they might want to actually get the... The Desert, I think, has another sentry. Oh, he yeah. spent... Uh, no, he's got a new set. He just bought another one, I think. Yeah, I think they need to actually get the sentry to the bottom lane. It's really crucial for them to get it done ASAP. Like, before minute 3, they need to be able to pull at bottom lane. This Dark is just getting way too much, and they're not getting much in return, because they're not pulling. Now, meanwhile, on the off lane, Moon already level 4, practically, against the dual lane. He's getting a ton out of top. Yep, because they chose to allocate the Bane at middle, and Bane at the lane doesn't do much against uh, Prophet. So this is a really good scenario for the Prophet to actually get a lot out of the lane. He's level 4 now, so maybe we'll look to see him rotating out to help the other lanes push when there's an opportunity coming up. Flywheel butt heads here with Aloha Dance, grabs the haste turn, looks yep. like he wants to go top. So finally Dazzle comes top. It's like the similar to the Brute thing, right? But Moon, a monkey oh, plate. No fear is kind of low. A nice heal bomb here could cause trouble, yep. but seems he'll just be leeching the experience for now while yep. the Prophet TP's home. So they're actually rotating the Dazzle after the Prophet has his level. So maybe Prophet would just come back to the lane later or go jungle, I'm not sure. So they actually can get more experience out of all the heroes. Yep, he's going jungle. So they're going to free the lane for the Dazzle so he, he catches up in his levels department. And maybe Prophet with the next teleport can actually do something in, in the safe lane to try and kill the Darkseer or push the tower. Not only is the Dark Seer getting a lot, but all three of these cores are farming up a storm. 19 and 3 are safe lane slaughter. The Wind Ranger wrecking Shadow Fiend mid. Yeah. 9 and 6 ahead it's, on CS. It's tough for him to gank the Wind Ranger if he has Power Shot, though. He can always break the Sprout with Power Shot. And so then even your Dark Seer off lane, as you mentioned, resolution almost 5. So all of the lanes going yeah, excellently this, for Empire. That's why already. I say this is actually game losing, though, when they can't deward this, the ward with this sort of lineup. It's really bad for them. It's actually losing them the early game laning phase a lot. Like, it's something that we don't say so much when how can you actually be possibly losing without losing kills, you know? But this is actually one of the few reasons why because you can't pull and the Darkseid is getting way too much and you're on a support like Jakiro, which is so level dependent. They don't really have the best kill potential here, unfortunately, <laughs> resolution. <laughs> They're losing by not, not nothing happening, so it's pretty bad. Because <laughs> Empire didn't have to do anything but they're already getting a lead from the early laning phase. I mean, they did Well, get they the did the standard stuff. It's more yeah, that... Yeah, they, they, they got the ward down, but I, I think it's still on monkey business side that they needed yeah. to actually scout and deward it with the sentries, because they have a lot of sentries. Where did he end up placing... Oh, they, he dropped another, they another one mid. Didn't they still have one more? They used it all? I think they just dropped one, two more mid. These are both okay. newer. So That's now, the new set. So now they're sending crit top to actually regain levels and Dazzle is stacking. I think this is actually much better. I don't think there's much they can do about the Darkse anymore. He's actually just way too farm and Oh, this is a good time to try to make a move oh on no, no tail. Iron Shell. Before okay. did No Tail notice that there wasn't a new Iron Shell. Not sure he did. The clap comes through. Oh. Burning down. He's just able to get out of range. That Close is call though. That is still really, really good for them. They a force out the salve. He's yeah. got no mana now. Can't go for the combo, even with yes, the mango. Yes, mangoes for one spell at least. Yeah, but only one. There's Un no, there's no clap bolt right Unless now. Unless he wants to go for arcane boots. Sometimes we see blue master players go for arcanes on the safe lane just for the support. You can give your mana, give mana to the support to actually help sustain the lane better. So, look at the bounty. He's actually expecting the blue to send a bottle or something to actually help him with the mana. So he was actually standing behind, waiting for the courier. Right, that was a nice idea from the bounty. Didn't pan out, but no big deals. Resolution dives past the wave, almost abusing the fact that they don't know where the bounty hunter is, so he can play even more aggressively. This is really, Another really six minute rune spawns. Really, Another really rune grab by the BH. And Miracle, let's see if he even gets this top rune. Looks like he will at least. He's done a decent job of catching up, but still trailing the Wind Ranger by quite a margin, and um, I guess looking for the stacks. Here. And the, the problem here is like because Prophet is occupying the jungle. It doesn't feel like the Radiant Shadow Fiend will be getting like like super a lot like compared to normal Radiant situations top where top when top you have an off laner that doesn't use the jungle. So I, I, I see this as a negative side of having the Prophet jungling right now for them. Yoku trying to take the man fight with Miracle, but the Ray is doing a little bit too much damage. He'll be forced back. 
don't, yep. I don't know if Aloha Dance actually scouted the stack. He, he got Arcane Boots. Oh, I think he did actually. Oh, you mean which uh, stack? This stack here? Yeah. I uh, think he saw it. I'm not sure though. Sleep no, on. I, I don't think he saw because I was watching him. He didn't really go into that side. So I don't think he actually saw. So BH is going to come from behind. They have split on Panda. He's got to make sure he gets it off here, though. If that Bane... Oh. Actually, Bane is no mana right now. Barely splitting in the nick of time before Aloha Dance comes in. Now Yoko is going to be the guy who gets caught out here. The Wind Panda going to work, throwing off the Wind Ranger in the air and baiting out the whole duration of her Wind Run. Now she's going to be forced to use it. Still chasing. Boulder Toss one more. Gets him. Will he get the kill? He's low. The clap comes out. Does bring Yoku down Wolf. with him, but no fear the trade. Wolf. That was worth kill for him. So he grabs the Brewmaster. They forced so many heroes to rotate. They got the first bird, and they're going to break middle with the Liquid Fire as well. That's why I mentioned he needed to get an Arcane Boost in this thing. That allowed him to actually do that. So that was a really good trade for Monkey Business. They needed that to get back on track. Because without kills happening, they were actually behind in net worth by 1500 from the start of the game. So they really needed something to actually get them back on track. Now Prophet has yeah, level this 6. This is the time to do it because Bounty Hunter is closing on level 6. Slardar up to 1,500 oh no! gold as Moon just burns down to the Ion Shell. Oh Big Daddy God. arrives though. He's got a dust available. He misses the clap, but he will get the kill anyway. No worries. They still got a kill. So he has a headdress early on. Vlad. But I still guess. I still think you go for that. Yeah, no like, it's just an item to help him have some sort of regen in the laning phase. I don't think you skip the dagger by any means. They have no other initiation, so I, you definitely don't skip the dagger here. Yeah. If they had someone else to start the fights, maybe you can get away with have it. Have you but. ever seen a panda skip dagger? Maybe for drums, like you go for face drums. Yeah, I've seen I've seen them not rush it for sure. As in, you go for what Ags was or Blads? Uh, yeah, not very often. If you have like other good initiation, I think it's okay. But blink clap is so strong as it is. Definitely, you want the dagger. Yep. So right now, BH is going to do this. Uh, Walk. Ah, he's too late. But he's too late, yep. Well, at least he'll be able to prevent future Let's stacks. He yet. might get the courier. Ah. Gloves coming out. That will complete Miracle's treads. This spot might be actually a little... Oh, away. I think he's got it, Winter. Ah! Nah, he needs to. <laughs> oh, got it! Has been Quick double strike, and down it goes. Aloha Dance making Sunday the plays attack. for the team. <laughs> they might just place a sentry now behind the tower instead of a sentry in the jungle. Because You're the thinking there's a ward there, you yeah. mean? Yeah. It's possible. So right now we are going to see the Prophet coming into play, starting to take towers. They took one in the middle lane previously because of spa space created by No Tails Ultimate. Right now they're going to reclaim another tower. Bru Brewmaster split is already up, so they can definitely go for another second tower here. They're going to show Darkseer. Little do they know though that Slardar's got a fresh shiny Blink Dagger and that's with Treads. He's the most farmed hero on his team and looking to make a move. No track yet, though. The split online again, as you mentioned. The, the S whole squad SF starting to group joining, up. SF should be joining bottom if they want to fight here. He's really low on mana, though. He has, they have Arcane Boost. Okay, he just used it. I don't Ma maybe with the rune. 10 minutes rune. Yeah, 10 minutes rune, yeah. he can go. And, well, <laughs> the saddest rune, but hey, a rune's a rune. Yeah. So he will be working on the mech, and with that... It seems like monkey business really want to just be five man and wow. get the mech, use the Bruce split, and just I think try you to get bull the rush mech, these towers. You wait for the mech plus the dagger on the brew, then you take a fight. You're extremely strong at that point of the game. This is the timing where I don't think Empire can actually fight very well. Empire don't have that much spam. They have power shot. That's it. If, if they can, they can only win the fight if they get a jump on Slada towards the Brewmaster and, and you, kill him before you kill him. Splits, but that's yeah. Dazzle, so I doubt it will happen unless Dazzle is somehow stunned or slapped by the Bane or the Shackle. They do have Fiend's Grip now as well. Yeah, I think it's going to be very crucial. You like sleep the Dazzle, you grip the Brew. Yeah, it's very crucial down. for them to send someone to make or sure. Or you just kill him before he gets his Blink. And that mm -hmm. may be what they're looking for here. Slithering in, Blink Crush to start it off. But Dazzle in position, Fly. Should be able to get that Grave off and he does do so. But it's a full duration Fiend's Grip. Yep. Doesn't matter, gets the split off. Now the turnaround can come. They throw up the Bane, but it seems they may have just forced it out for free. They're even going to amp uh, the Earth they, Panda. They have to just get back. I think they, they did whatever. So necessary. They, they've ended the five man for the next couple minutes. Two minutes at least. Oh, the, yeah. the Cyclone. Well, man, unless this kill happens. Hello, Bane. Recum. Free Yule Scepter for Miracle. No, he gets left. The Crush coming oh, through. And now Miracle could be in trouble. Raise and then chain stun a bit. Power Shot pierces his heart. Down he goes, a two for nothing. Very wow. good juggling there by Empire. But I'm still, Monkey, I'm there's always a trade. I'm surprised they took that fight, though. Because they were actually having two heroes at top pushing tier one. 
So at the maximum, p they can only get three heroes at bottom, and they had no vision of how many Empire heroes were on the map. So they could have been five, and there was actually five heroes at bottom. So that was actually quite surprising. They decided to go in that fight. I think they already did enough, like graving and making sure that the blue didn't die, so he can actually get his dagger. That was already, for me, mission accomplished. But they all extended. Well, all of a sudden, the Slardar threat is is alive. Radiant Courier gonna respawn. Oh, mid lane. Aloha Dance. He's been found out by No Tail and Moon. The dust always at the ready. That will be enough for an easy takedown. And the Bruce Split still one minute away. So little breathing room for Empire. They have secured their Darkseer mech. Along with that, Wind Ranger grabs her point booster. So formulating her way towards an axe. Uh, SM is going to even the mech department soon. He's going to have his mech. So. I don't see the Empire Mac really they're, giving them. They're not so much really of ready to fight yet. It's still only a level one vacuum. They don't have a blink on Dark Seer. Wind Ranger doesn't have eggs, and Empire definitely feel like they need a bit more time. Even track not yet online. Yeah. Imagine, imagine if they actually devoured Monkey Business early, so the tempo would come a lot faster. Miracle is gonna get shackled here. Prophet's There's a gonna focus fire, but he doesn't opt to use it. Uh, he's just too tanky right now with the desert around as well. This is before the mech. Would have been a great time to kill him, but the rest of the team hanging around the Roche pit. They're going to go for a little smoke back. The line is drawn from Moon. Mm -hmm. Kind they of expecting this. Yep. Did They're actually not, expecting did it. not see anything, though. Because they saw the Slada farming the mid lane like yeah. a, a couple of uh, maybe 20 seconds, 30 seconds ago. So they are uh, expecting this move from them. It's either that or they do Roshan, but when they see Wind Ranger... They see two bottoms. Yeah, yeah. they saw Wind Ranger bottom, so it's not going to be Roshan. Good map sense, but is it going to be good enough as Miracle may get caught oh. out here? Aloha Dance in position, Blake, oh. crush on three, kaboom! Quickly bringing them low, they're going to get the track off that first kill, and then they can go for more potentially. Miracle's going to try to man up defensively, dodges the stun, or rather the nuke, and then they stun him again. Can they brain set up three seconds of counting? Miracle has the Requiem, he's not going to be allowed to get off long range. Power shot, Silent lives oh with God. 50 HP. Massive outplay there from Empire. They wipe out three, and now might even be in position for a Roche soon. Such a good individual play from the Bane there. He used the sleep to dodge one of the rays. That was really well played. But I think the SF also made an error there. Maybe the courier was delivering the mech. I wasn't pretty sure. He mech after the Brew Master died. He would have actually saved the Brew and the speed would have gone off. And then the fight would have been actually different. I'm not sure maybe the mech just arrived or he just didn't have the mech in time. Yeah, I didn't. I, I was busy watching three heroes get crushed. Did not see exactly when it showed up. Now the split. Silent. You got a little greedy. Sticking around mid. He'll pay. Can they get two is the question. Wind Ranger. Toss up run. in the air. Here's Wind Ranger. And the boulder toss will come through. They can burn him. They can sprout him. Power shot, Power shot out. He keeps on running. Yoku, long range. Not enough. Boom! Oh, there's the clap. No tail answers back. Gets two. And hunts for more. Great plays by the Brewmaster, though. Now he's in a bit deep, and there is a track affecting him. But the wall gets dropped. Resolution just trying to keep no tail off his team for now. And Miracle rejoins the fight. So despite the losses in their own jungle, Monkey Business showed just how good their group up is. Four heroes to mid. Jakiro just ratting away at the top lane. <laughs> and they may get two towers for this. That top tower about to go down now. Some monkey business. Hey, lose fight, get two towers. Sounds like a game plan to me. You say that, <laughs> but I don't think they intended that. <laughs> I don't think that was the plan. <laughs> Definitely wasn't the plan, but it was a great response. Yeah. I feel like a lot of people would not have had No-Tail's confidence to just dive that. You see Windrunner at full health. Oh. Yeah, sure, you can maybe get the one the support kill, but you want to get towers with that split. The thing is, like, split. he understands that his hero is the strongest hero during primal speed, during 10 to 15 minutes. Like, even earlier, or up to minute 20, Panda is, like, the strongest hero with the split. So he knows that he's really strong. He's us he uses the advantage to actually secure as much kills, as much towers, as much map control for his team. So right now, Empire is going to fall back to the Roche because they realize Bruce split is down. But no radiant vision of this, but they also see a lot of the rest the of the map. The are really bad though, so it's going to be obvious if they are doing Yeah, they're, they already pinged it. They know. Oh, double damage. Still though. Sada would have wished he didn't left the rush pit there. Mm, they can always go back later. I actually think if they went there then, that would be very risky though. Yeah. Because Monkey were already there painting was, there it, was like no you said, way, all the lanes. There was no way you could have tell the 16 minute room would be a DD and you'd be rotating, <laughs> waiting there for Rosha. Okay, 16 minutes. Even if you expect that though, do you really want to go in when top's pushed to the base, nah, mid's yeah, pushed past no. the river? No, I'm just kidding. Bottom's at the of river. Of course, no way you go for it because push, top lane is just way too push. You have yeah. to defend your lanes and maybe look for another timing to go for that Roshan play. So 
it's understandable from Empire's position why they actually decided to go back because it was just way too risky there. Looks like Crit did need to reconnect. So back in the game now. Yep. I think Monkey Business just going to wait for the next uh, split. Maybe even go for Rosh themselves. Do they have a medallion? I think their five man is really strong though. Maybe by that point, Dazzle would actually have a medallion complete and they would be able to just do the Roshan or just even push because I think they need to group up so no one gets picked off by the bounty and the slaughter. No one gives away track kills. You group up, you push, and you end the game. How? What's the timer here for Monkey Business? Um, How gonna, long do you think they have? They're going to look to try it on top A. Looking for resolution. He is surging though. Uh, the no backup raises. Is coming. From the backup is coming. They have to be careful. No raises even attempted for Miracle. And I'll just let the Darkseer run away. Now no fear. Moving into position, Yoku trying to get some vision here with the power shot, but they're poised in position to punish him. Liquid fire, ice path. Oh. No, the two hero shackle. And this buys a little time mid where Silent is doing oh, some he got push. Caught. He, he got still caught. gets caught though. Uh, that's the split. He's, he's dead. Yoku in deep. Windrun already committed. Ice path coming through. They're going to oh throw him up God. in the air. No fear. Going for the TP out. He will at least make it home. Salvaging a bit of the fight. Shackle. It's available, but he gets chain stunned by the Bruce split and goes down. Yoku just will delay the eggs, though he did buy two of the components. Yeah, this is really good play by Monkey Beasts. They are constantly grouping up. They know that they can't allow Empire to get any pick off. I think it's very reminiscent of all the recent games that Empire are playing. They always play this pick off style of Dora. Yeah. They try to group, uh, speed up and catch heroes and try to drag for late game. But most of their opponents are been playing all this type of push. There we go, the fight. On to no fear. Remember, no Bruce split for this, but at the same time, no Wind Ranger either. Somewhat evens things out. Two, three tracks already acquired, and Aloha Dance looking for additional. They're going to jump Miracle. The Shuriken bounces through. Quite a nice miniature nuke to the entire enemy team. And now, raises, looking for the turnaround. The Blink Clap is there. No fear, though. Hangs on, backs off. Everybody healed up for now. And they still continue pursuit. Silent looking for that next blink initiation. Who's he going to jump on? It's Miracle. The Shackle arrives, catches up life, just as modded for the grave. Can't get up in the back. The wall as well. Nature's Prophet all bouncing through, trying to turn this Requiem, negating some of the outgoing damage from Empire, but still in pursuit. Yoku, yeah, Shackle smooth. again. Shackle again. It's going to go. Oh, it actually doesn't connect. Looked like it would. And now working on Miracle. Power shot low in danger. This is a track kill they really can't afford to be giving this up. He turns, tries for the double raise. Gets juked, gets juked, will die. And that is another track kill. Yeah, they always Good did, hold. They always did their welcome because they didn't have speed. They couldn't have taken that fight. Empire realized once they had the Wind Ranger up, or almost close to reviving, they, they just ran forward. They knew that once they caught them out, the fight is going to be the fight. And now it's so scary to go high ground because yeah. Darkseer just got his it Blink Dagger. Wind Ranger basically was has her eggs. double track kill. Both of the targets were tracked. So that was a really huge win. Like against Bounty Hunter, you don't want to give away a fight like that. Like two kills is still salvageable for them. If you lose a team fight, like four heroes dead or five heroes, you basically could lose the game out of one fight against BH. Speaking of BH, this is a bold move by Aloha Dance. Fortunately oh, for him, oh no, God, he got no jam, but he gets hit by the liquid fire. <laughs> Ooh, living life on the edge. I mean, if you die, that would be so funny. You know, like, Creed would be like, wow, bonus kill. <laughs> Easy. So right now, they have the Bruce speed up. They need to use this to at least get an objective. Power or Roshan. Or maybe a smoke play. Like one of those few. It's getting more dangerous to, to be on the offense, though. I think they can, they have to, right? They can't split up because if they split up, they give away a track kill. It's really bad for them. Oh, I agree. But now the combo from Empire is much scarier. They can still win a com win a fight if they get the, the right jump and an Orchid on a key target. They have an Orchid on Prophet to actually silence the uh, Dark Oh, the right jump might be coming the other way. Aloha Dance leads the charge. Empire smoked, not scouted by the Radiant. Oh, they no. get one track off. Only showing the Bounty Hunter. This isn't really a full giveaway for the gank. And then they go. The Blink Crush under the tower. Too far. Onto No Tail, but it's too far to go. And the Power Shot comes through. Clap is there. They turn this even through the track. The Brewmaster continues to fight into the enemy squad. No fear. Chilling on the high ground. Now looking to back off. Silent sprinting away. There's the follow up stun. Slowly ticking out. Raze will finish him. Darkseer able to blink out. They need to minimize casualties. And the rest yeah. of Empire do scatter to the winds. Will they get anyone else? No fear. Too late. So it's a Bruce split just for a Slardar, but it may lead it's to something uh, more. It's a carry Slardar, so I think it's still a big thing. They can go for Rosh now with the SF. That Slardar up in 25. Tier 2 still mm -hmm. alive. Yeah, it's going to be tough. Maybe not. It's too, yeah, it's too, it's too soon. Oh, He's reviving on. too soon. Why? Trapped out, but then they try to turn on Yoku and they say, no, you're the one that's trapped, mister. 
Still the focus fire active, and man, he chugs fly down. Nice and quick there. Now backing off. Waiting for the slot. Are respawn a two hero shackle? That was oh, this might get oh really that bad. was bad. Back wall on the no tell. Slada is well. out. Slada is out. They need to get out. Uh, he's coming. The fish is angry. He's oh got some God. mean teeth. He, so needs, he needs money to pay for his dental work. As Moon gets pounded by the focus fire Bioko, it looks like he should be going down here. That's gonna be at least one more kill. And now the rest of the squad in a headlong retreat. Slardar just charging in 1v2. He doesn't care about the brew. The Jakiro trying for the TP out. Sleep is going to prevent it. Silent oh maybe even God. looking for more kills. No, he'll just settle for crit. And they make sure this will be oh. a five hero track do you, takedown. Do you see what they did there? They were waiting for the yeah. two heroes to come in so everyone gets the track. Five goal. hero track. Five. Oh, that is bad. That is so bad. Once again, without the Brewmaster Look ultimate. Look at that gold. Once again, without the Brew ultimate, they can't fight. Like, they chose to chase too far. Like, what if the starter had buyback there? They would have still lost that fight so badly. So Slardar has gone for a Crimson Guard against the Prophet Triance nah. and the Brew Split. The Brew Split is just useless now. Yeah. No damage. Oh, yeah. you have the Emulate. That's it. But that thing dies fast to amp damage. That thing is useless now for sure. <laughs> <laughs> They're getting a bit too tanky. Gem on the bin, so they want to secure map control and try to red as much as possible. Actually, they don't even need to red now. Even with the Brew Split, they might still be able to win the fight if they get the right jump. But they still have to be very careful. The Bruce Speed could cause a lot of uh, chaos in team fights, like disable the Bane, disable the Slada or the Wind Ranger. So, but I still feel like if they get the right jump, they can just win the fight. They need Moon to make sure. Playing with a lot of, lot of danger yeah. here. They still need to make sure that they take, they take care of the Dazzle when they jump the Brew. That's about it. If they can do that, they'll be able to crush the Brew Master from the fight and they'll be able to win the fight easily. So monkey business now, we're going to see them pushing up the lanes, kind of slowing down, losing that five-man tempo that they started with. Now at 5k net worth, down a thousand experience, they've lost all their advantage. It's slipping away, and the confidence grows. Empire, four staff up on the bounty hunter. Looks like they may be making a move towards the top lane, knowing that that Roche is down. There's really nothing monkey can do aside from perhaps take a tier two bottom. The five-man team is looking for a trade. That is a sign of, of things, trouble. Yeah, that is a sign of things not going very well for them. They need to. I think they need to at least wait for maybe the Aegis to expire, then make a move after that. Right now, their options are really, really limited. They can't afford to speed up because they'll get picked off. But at the same time, they need the farm to actually catch back up. So maybe someone has to take risks, you know, farm at dangerous places to somewhat make up of it. Oh no, Empire is coming in. Glyph was already committed for this. Miracle thinking about the Requiem. He does not have a BKB here. Has to be careful about getting chain stunned. Blink Crush comes through. The back is there. Dark Seer. No mana for the wall, though. He has the Arcane Boots. Maybe he can use it to get it off. He just surges away, pops the mech, continues to retreat. May end up going down for this. That would be a big kill, and it is. Oh, that was they a... lack the Bane, who's hoofing it back with a gem. But still, it's a Brewmaster split committed. Not sure if they can actually break the base now. And Yoku's looking to go back in, blinking forward, but it's right as. They're all retreating. Uh, that was still not optimal for them, though. Oh, uh, well, this could be optimal. Now oh, Silent's gonna, gonna play it safe. Once again, they are trying to fight without everyone there. Maybe they overestimated their strength because they felt like they had Aegis. But the thing is, when you're TPing three heroes down, you don't have everyone set up in the positions. That's why they... Um, oh, actually, I think he cancelled his TP because when he was TPing, the Ice Path came in. So he was actually the first one to TP. That's why... The Bane wasn't there. He cancelled his TP when he saw the Ice Path. Yeah, he's also the gem carrier. You do not want to be giving that away to monkey business. Yeah, so basically after he cancelled his TP, everyone is like, you can't really go in anymore. Hmm. Looks like Moon may have been trying to snipe a courier. Well, the five-man lineup is transitioning into the red lineup with the Prophet. Oh, oh. Gonna <laughs> need some more items here. Octarine a little call, Octarine, refresher. little refresher. <laughs> Spice things up a bit. You said little. Those items are big items. <laughs> <laughs> eh, not for uh, not for nature's profit. Lord of the gold. It will lose Aloha Dance. Nice pick off for Monkey. I'm actually inclined to disagree. The Lord of the gold is Alchemist. But he's not here. Someone <laughs> has to take his place. <laughs> so he got replaced this game. <laughs> he didn't even buy yeah, a Midas. He didn't even buy a Midas, so he... No. 
not a lot of gold for me. Probably too late to go back for one winter, wouldn't you say? No, but I, I think you can call him the lot of go the gold. The lot of the gold if he has a Midas. I don't think he qualifies this game. He's All the right. lot well, of the rat. Professor Winter says no. <laughs> <laughs> Pop champ. <laughs> That's a champ. <laughs> So right now, Aegis is, uh, I think Aegis is expiring in 30 Soon, seconds. Soon, yeah. Yep. 45. So if they want to fight, uh, they will be smoking soon. In about the same time that Aegis expires to look for a fight. They have a smoke on crit. So I guess that should be the next play for them. Oh, that's That board there might be their undoing if they actually smoke around oh, there. They have a, Dyer has a very deep board in the jungle. Yeah, it's gonna get eyes on no till oh. now, but he has his own gem. So he will quickly de ward. Thank you very much, Crit. That'll come in handy. Still oh. Empire are gonna smoke. But they don't really know what they're walking into. This is a blind YOLO smoke up the hill. They'll make if it. they get the jump on the panda, they could just instantly win the fight. Uh, Where's the Dazzle? The Dazzle Nutell does a buyback. Dazzle, Dazzle, Dazzle. Okay, Dazzle is nearby. And Empire aren't gonna guess the right way. They head bottom. They are greeted by a macro pyre. <laughs> Already crit. He's he's back. Radiance so they're gonna smoke attack. soon, I guess. Do they want to? Are they confident enough to do it? Prophet is in a compromising position. <laughs> oh my god! He just TP down to that. <laughs> he was gonna summon his triants, and then he realized there were so many heroes there. <laughs> he sees the whole crew just slither by, and the smoke will come. No vision of this one. So it's monkey's turn to get active on the map. Yep, with the Roshan, uh, sorry, not Roshan, with they the Aegis down. Mid. With the Aegis down, they need to find an excellent they initiation. They 3 here. mid, but Aloha Dance is in position to break this if he's just going to head a bit north. Doesn't, though. Monkey swinging around if they from get the, the hill. Use, if they get the use first on the Slada, this would be this big. This could be big. Blink claps there. Silent starting to sprint, but that's only going to increase the damage he's taking. He's quite slow. Oh, that Force Staff helping him out quite a bit. Resolution tried his best to keep him oh, alive. Oh, the Requiem is going to come. And go for the counter initiation. The Blink. Vacuum is there. Miracle did not BKB, and now he's unable to get off the Requiem at the time desired. Silent will get hit by it. He's going to take out his anger on the Slardar. Finally will bring him down, but it wasn't as ugly as it could have been. Still, they lose the Slardar. They commit wow. the wall. And Monkey, well, they had to use their Bruce split for that. One moment there, I thought that would have been a disaster because the SF was greedy. He didn't want to use his BKB, and he got, I think he got stunned by the crush when he was channeling his Requiem. The, the timing there wasn't perfect enough for him to not use the BKB to cast oh, I think record. he also got vacuumed as he was casting oh, it. Oh, he did? And okay. then I think he got crushed after that. Okay. It looked like it. But either way, did not get it off. So they get a DD row now, Winter, but uh, nah, no they rush need, They need to wait for next Brew again. It's all about the Brew split for them. They cannot take a fight without No Tails ultimate. I, I look at Empire, it feels like it's just all about the BKB for the Slardar. Like, he gets that item and what does Monkey do about it? Right click. They, they, they ground sprout him. I feel like that's the only thing they that's can do. That's why he's saving the Quelling Blade. Aha. Mm, very smart. So smart. I don't. What's he going to drop for that though? The wand. I think at this point the Quelling Blade... Blade's more important you think? Yeah, more important than the wand. Yeah, Moon has been on point with, the, with those in the past. So wouldn't surprise me too much. Let's grab his point booster. Could very well be that Octarine. I he, is that like I, the I, build now? I do don't think? think he goes for any other item build. That's the build he goes for. Is, do you think that's the profit build yeah, now? Yeah, I think so. It's oh, hello, pressure. Moon. <gasps> Silent just casually crushing creeps, but eh, that's okay. They'll still get the lockdown on him. This is going to be a three hero grab. Everybody getting the track gold there. And the smoke for Monkey. Because Panda ultimate is three, two, one. Up and going. But they don't have the profit. He has buyback to TP in. So that's the play they want to go for right now. They're going to start it off by finding Yoku. Oh, by an ice path, raises. Oh, man, look at him out. That was quick and that was dirty. Now, no fear. The next man, that, that's a gem lost as well. The DD rune for Miracle. This is a timing for Monkey. They, oh, they want to break into this base as soon as possible. They look for an additional grab with the scouting Wind Panda. Doesn't see the Bounty Hunter. Resolution just a bit out of range still. Buyback is available on Bane. No Wind Ranger for this fight. And the tower drops quickly. Monkey desperately trying to get that first lane of Rex before the hour grows too late. Now Slardar initiates. And in comes No Fear as well. And he goes right into the Ice Path. BKP Requiem of Miracle deletes the Bane from the game. And that's immediately following a buyback, Winter. That's a dieback for him. 
and Prophet didn't have to use his buyback to ensure his team wins the fight. So that was that was a really big swing for Monkey Business. Great usage of the panelist bit. It felt like at the start it probably wouldn't have netted them too much, but at the end of the day they got a buyback, they got the tier 3 tower down. So it was well worth the Brewmaster ultimate there. Very good play by Monkey Business at the end. So the next thing is the Roshan, which is going to come up soon. Both teams would have their spells and ultimates up for the next coming fight. So we'll see who actually gets the upper hand. It would actually decide a lot about what will happen later. If they can actually get the Aegis on the SF, it will allow Monkey Business to actually siege the high ground. But if the Empire gets it, it's going to allow them to actually drag the game longer. Which would be more favourable for them if it goes longer with the Slada Wind Ranger and the Bounty Hunter. Do you see, do you see, so looking at monkey business, like do they, to, to you, do they still have quite a bit of time left or are they really running short yeah, now? But at the, at the same time I'm thinking, even if it goes to super late game, they have the, they have this red Octarine Core Aghanim, so there's still- Even if they can't win a fight necessarily, yeah, still they can always split push. Yeah, there's still another way, you know, there's always plan B for monkey business if their five man doesn't work out. Whereas for Empire, they have to, keep getting pickoffs and drag the game until they have enough items to fight head on against the panda. And their item progression is quite a bit slower than the top cores of monkey business, especially the Shadow Fiend. Still no MKB on Yoku. He's died uh, quite a few times actually. Mo I think almost all of them to the Yules or the Bruce split. Yeah, I think mostly to the panda. He, he always like gets focused or gets you uh, cycled up by the panda and then focus down with Ice Path. Last smoke here for Monkey Business for a couple of minutes, but they're using it to getting nice and close in the mid lane. Crit will oh start it no. off, gets the Yules off. This could be bad. Yoku in trouble. Does barely have the buyback, but no fear will be the additional kill. And that hero out of the game for a long time. Already committed his buyback previously. So now Monkey can head towards top. Look for their first Damn. full lane of racks. Just they like did, that. They didn't use the Brew ultimate for this. Oh, oh yeah. It's going to be hard to contest. You have the back wall. It is level three, but still. Is it really enough against the Bruce split, as well as a very strong, large and in charge Shadow Fiend who continues to work on your structure? Oh, there, Shackle! Shackle! This could be the moment for Empire. They get the crush off as well. No tail. Locked down for now. Power shot coming through. Miracle able to back himself out of this. BKB still available. They commit the Bruce split. They get the first racks. Right around the time when the Prophet Octarine is about to complete. They need more. Yoku. He bought back for this. He's got to find additional oh kills. Working God. on fly, but the turnaround may come the from Slada Shadow got Cyclone, so I don't think they can actually make the chase happen right now. He needs to. They need They're the trying. Slada. They are not going to give this one up that easily. As your Brewmaster will narrowly retreat. Blink Dagger available. Fly may get caught. Shackle again, not going to latch. Good jukes there by Fly. Still focus. Fire finishes him off right before he can cast the grave. And now they try crit. Do they go for more? TP comes in from the Nature's Prophet. He will cancel it. Continues pushing bottom. But you mentioned Octarine, and my friend, it is re it is ready now. Moon is entering rat mode. <laughs> and they're up a lane of Rax. This is becoming more of your dream scenario for Nature's Prophet. Yeah, when you're one side of Rax down against Prophet, good luck. <laughs> Octarine, Agadims. And their, hero don't really, their heroes don't really push the lanes very quick because they have a lot of single target. And Wind Ranger doesn't have like a male sound to push. It's all damage, you know. Single target damage. So they're gonna, I think they're gonna struggle a lot against the Octarine Prophet. They wanna fight while the Bruce splits down, but the monkey mind that. They're just gonna initiate Miracles and MKB now. Fresh and shiny, newly delivered. They get up a huge combo from Crit in the middle of the pit. That causes Yoku to drop. He runs oh, into Roche, who also has no mercy. Then Miracle's gonna steal the Aegis as well as the Roche kill. Two more dead. That's a dieback on your Wind Rangers while Empire crumbling in the clutch. And that Monkey Business making all the plays. Now they dust Aloha Dance. They'll find him with the Yules. This could be the second lane of Rex and possibly just the end off with his head. This game. The Nunchuck from No Tail finishes the job. And Monkey, it looked like this game might have started to slip away from the winter, but they've stayed poised under pressure, had one or two good fights, and now it looks to be theirs. Yeah, they played a very, very good game overall. Even though they made a few mistakes, they overextended, they got caught by the bounty, but overall they utilize the panda split very well the jakiro ice path use combination as well they understood when are the timings they had they, they got a gem they control the map so that was just overall really good play from them as a team as a unit few too many pickoffs too many deaths they didn't get the farm they needed on the side of empire and 
God, they really would have loved to have that Slardar BKB and the Wind Ranger MKB a yeah. bit earlier this game. You know, game. I, I think this game would have been much faster over, like, it would have been over much faster if they didn't give away all those pickoffs. I felt like at Monkey Business had a really solid strategy this game. And it actually showed it goes a lot later than what you initially might yep. think. Because of the Prophet Octarine. <laughs> Moon did a good job of getting his farm. Shackle will connect, but already Mega Creep secured. So this one's mostly just for the final scoreline. As Miracle's Grave, no tell Blinky clapping forward onto Yoku. The quick crit ends him. And now they look for Sana as well. Back wall, that's on five, I believe. Or at least four, no. The Nature's Prophet off just ending too, the game. Too little, too late, my friend. But it is. Too little, too late. Fly will die. They'll lose their Aegis. But Empire going to be trailing Winter. They'll be down 0 1 in the best of three. I think you can look back at this game. I think Empire, if you're Empire, it's like what actually that they did wrong mostly. They had a really good start. 0-0 zero zero kill score. The ward gave them <laughs> a 1500 goal lead. The ward. <laughs> the block. They blocked the pool camp and it granted them 1500 goal lead at the start. But when the team fight comes, obviously their lineup is not going to be able to deal with the fireman very well early on. But they got a few key pickoffs and I think in... The thing that hurt them the most was the few times where Yoki got caught by monkey business because power shot was their What do you what, what do you attribute that to? Was that just poor positioning, lack of proper vision? Why I, do you, why do you think he got caught? So I think much? sometimes when this sort of thing happened, like it's smoke, right? So it's very hard to blame the player. They had wards up so but it was smoke. So mm -hmm. it's not his fault. It was just maybe it meant monkey business just understanding what they needed to do. Because you have to understand when they have the Brewmaster out there, they are going to smoke. They're going to try and place wards. They're going to look for a fight. So when you don't see people on the map, you only see, ah, oh, Moomianders on the map. You know what's going on. You know, it's like seeing a specter on the map. Okay, something's up. So it's like the same thing. They had to either use the Bounty Hunter to st like stand around areas to break the smoke. So even if you die, you lose the support. You don't lose the core. Like someone had to be there. I think Bounty Hunter is the more likely candidate that you say that you should be the one standing around tr the trees trying to reveal the smoke and saving your carry. Maybe he should be the one doing it. Well, he wasn't this game, guys. And now Empire trailing 0-1 in the best of three. Can they bounce back? Can they strike back? Or will this be a 2-0 favoring monkey business? We'll find out after a quick break. You're watching the Summit for Europe. Stick around.